Hello, reviewers, welcome to Star Who Reviews. And today I'm reviewing Stargirl Season 3 The Blackmail. Yeah, and it's every so far and figure out who killed the gambler. Um, I think the episode starts off pretty well with uh, Sylvester just walking around Blue Valley and getting uh, some coffee and spinning it. Uh, and getting some uh, tea from the diner that Yolanda works at. Um, when that's too asking me to get the, uh, the, the, uh, the original Wildcat Ted Grant, I think it's the name. I don't know if the last name is correct, but hmm. Would be would the thing that Yolanda the uh the badass and would uh, be a good uh, successor to the Wildcat moniker? And uh, also in this while uh, Rick and uh, Beth are on the car rider, something better uh, finds out through the Doctor Midnight uh, glasses. That uh, the the gambler is actually blackmailing as uh, somebody, and turned out that that information came from a uh, Sydney who uh, yeah had the gambler's uh, laptop. But she finds it hard to get through uh, some of the uh, stuff since it's a uh, password protected. Uh, also, uh, in the car ride, that uh, Rick actually reveals that his uh, uncle left. Yeah. Um, when at school, uh, the GSA uh, f figure out that the, the uh, name on the uh, person that black that the kind of blackmail is actually the alias for uh, the sportsmaster. So they suspect that for some reason uh, he was uh, that kind of was uh, blackmailing the Crocs, and they probably. Uh, Kill him, get, get him off his back or their back. And Corny did uh, try to get everybody to promise not to tell Sylvester since yeah, what happened with the shade, so you wouldn't, wouldn't want that happening again. But of course, uh, Sydney uh, tells uh, Sylvester since uh, she wants to do a team up with him. But Sylvester is really don't want to team up with uh, with uh, who he calls the Dragon King's uh, Dragon Spawn or whatever. And just uh, makes her feel bad. Oh, what also? I right, there's some stuff going on with uh, Cameron at the high school's zone, uh, especially when there's some tension between uh, him and Rick when uh, the teaser from uh, the last season was a. Uh, Talking to him and seems like it's a ice powers are near development since he has the that uh, ice icicle on the uh, one of the Rick's cars at uh, one of the cars in Rick's car. So, yeah, and uh, turns out that a uh, mic actually uh, heard uh, the conversation between. Vesper uh, and uh, Cynthia, and yeah, he has to call the uh, uh, Courtney to tell her about it. Um, while that's going on, uh, Vesper was uh, confronting the Crocs in a supermarket, and he's trying to get them to admit that they killed the gambler, but. They're just denying and laughing at him. And there's a brawl in the, in the supermarket between them. And yeah, I think uh, I guess the professor went to kind of overboard. Like, look like he's doing more damage than the crocs are. And this look at Pat uh, showing up in a uh, stripe to uh, stop him. And there's a good scene when uh, Pat is confronting Sylvester and Sylvester is angry at Pat for protecting the Crocs, not him, and call him the, uh, Pat is a psychic. You know, Pat says that he's nobody's uh, psychic anymore, and he's trying to get uh, 
Sylvester to realize that he has possibilities now and tell the Sylvester about what 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 uh, Corny went through in season one with the uh, thing she was uh, the daughter of Starman when uh, she first picked up the staff and glowed and tell him about uh, what about uh, Corny's actual uh, Debbie dad. And uh, does sound need to be not just a better man, but better Starman for Courtney's sake. And they never talk with Crocs, cause uh, yeah, it, it, it is true that the Gamma was a uh, blackmailing them for like uh, crimes that they either committed while they're in the uh, the ISA or they weren't in. So hmm. Well, it turned out Gamera actually gave back all the money that they gave him, and the Sportmaster did tell them about when uh, he actually drove up to where the Gamera's uh, uh, RV it was, thinking that the Black Panther got started again, but he actually stopped himself where he went to do something stupid. Hmm. And, uh... Yeah, they're innocent and everybody's trying to figure out uh, is there any other suspects. And they, uh, some were thinking that Sydney will not ruin her out. And Sydney does reveal that the reason she actually went to Sylvester because he saw if he, he had his stamp of approval, then all the other members might uh, uh, accept her in the GSA. But so you don't really tell him about her having the laptop. So, hmm. And Corey does save, he tries something that gets kicked out, so I wonder if he's gonna get kicked out when he finds out that Seeds wouldn't have a laptop. And I wonder if he is uh, somehow connected to the murder. I think he's what he's seen who murdered uh, the Gammers and just actually was there with a the gun at the time, so. Hmm. Uh, yeah, just after that, Courtney and. Uh, Cameron that's the uh, going to walk and before they actually hold hands, Cameron that's pulls away thinking he might, uh, he might just uh, free Courtney's hand off or something. And uh, there's a montage of a lot of other uh, stuff with other characters like uh, Paula threatening uh, Barbara's boss and there's a, there was a good scene with the two of them and uh, Paul saying that the German clock took cake went on too well. Now we're group monster do his uh, speech for some reason. <laughs> and they do so as someone looking at the monitors to the cameras that are, that are shown throughout the, the first and I think second episode. And I'm thinking it's Mr. Bones because the cloak and the leather gloves, but. You know. And Sydney is still trying to get the through uh, the thing the uh, the uh, gambler's computer, but still can't find the right password. Um, Pat making a new Starman costume for Sylvester and Mike was uh, watching them. Yeah, he's gonna sneak around, Mike, isn't he? Hmm. Uh, Sylvester went to just went to the uh, the scene of the gambler's. Dead, where he gets attacked by something that sounds like Grundy, but yeah, Rick said that the stuff that the Shay told him to do to get Grundy back in the work, so could be some similar to Grundy, or maybe a, a double ganger Grundy or something. I just wonder. Yeah, it's rest because we don't wonder what the reaction is going to be by everybody, so, hmm. And, uh. Yeah, this is a good episode, and I do go also like the part when, uh, Spencer is just uh, tell Pat and his mechanic friend that his parents just used to use uh, him and his sister as their uh, props for some of their uh, parties, and uh, the kind of friend that he. Uh, tell them about uh, a metaphor about uh, 
and find John Gorrett was uh, himself and, and that. And pretty good. And I think it does some good acting by uh, every in this. And I just wonder why uh, Sportmaster finds the Purge movies uh, funny. Is it so bad or does he just like the, the all the violence in it or what? I, I just wonder here. Yeah, I don't know. And uh, it seems like uh, next episode, uh, Ice Cold Jr. will uh, finally uh, embrace his powers where Cameron finally call him uh, Ice Cold Jr. But uh, I would say. And I heard that episode 10 is called Murderer. So it's gonna take uh, this long or that long to find out who the murderer is, but. Uh, uh, seven episodes. Ugh. I don't know. I guess you just want to stretch out the plot. Uh, I probably can. Maybe uh, they can bring back some other characters or put in like a side plot with the uh, Mister Bones. Um, uh, kind of glad like they uh, mentioned what the Green Lantern's uh, hobby was. So, that's interesting. And, uh, and tell us up. I'll see you guys later.